Hello everyone and welcome to FutureFoe Plays Destiny. I'm FutureFoe on PS4 and this is a special video on what you can do to better prepare your guardians for the Taken King. So we have a few weeks before the release of the Taken King, Destiny's major expansion for year 2. If you're a veteran player, you know it's been sort of a tradition over the past couple expansions to prepare yourself during the weeks leading up to the release. You would do this to be able to take advantage of new systems and economies, ensuring you the quickest way to progress your character, attain new gear, and get ready for any endgame activities like raids and nightfalls. The Taken King is going to be a little different, mostly due to the new leveling system and the change from Vanguard and Crucible marks to Legendary marks. And while we don't have all the answers on how some of the more specific parts of the economy will work in Year 2, we can still do some things to prepare ourselves to get a decent boost right out the gate. The following are 5 things I recommend doing to prepare yourself for the Taken King. Number 1. Glimmer. Many things like faction allegiances and weapon upgrades will cost you a fair amount of glimmer over the first week of Year 2, especially if you have multiple characters. The first thing I'll be doing is getting myself to the maximum glimmer of 25,000. And while 25,000 is still disappointingly low, you can do some things to create a sort of savings account for yourself. First off, don't cash in any house banners, silken codexes, axiomatic beads, or network keys. These are items you normally get by defeating majors and ultras. You can normally cash in each one of these at the Cryptarch for 200 Glimmer. I recommend just stacking them up in your vault, along with any royal amethysts you get from Petra. This way, you'll have a pretty sweet reserve of cash. Also, remember that the Speaker's Material Exchange will carry over to the Taken King, so hold on to those spare shards. Number 2. Planetary Materials Spirit Bloom, Spin Metal, Relic Iron, and Helium Filaments Since we will be attaining mostly all new gear as we progress through the Taken King campaign and the Taken War Endgame, you will quickly find that planetary materials can become a scarce commodity if you don't stockpile them now. With all the different things you can spend legendary marks on in the Taken King, like ghost shells, 2.0 exotics. The last thing you want to do is spend them on planetary materials. So I recommend doing whatever you need to do to make sure you're seriously stocked up on these four materials. This leads to number three, Crucible and Vanguard Marks. As you remember, Commendations were a new addition to the Dark Below and were removed as currency in House of Wolves. As a result, any unused Commendations could be burned for 250 reputation. Bungie is using the same mechanic when removing Crucible and Vanguard Marks from the game. When the Taken King drops, all of your unused Crucible and Vanguard marks will be converted to Crucible and Vanguard Commendations respectively. So the more marks you have, the more Commendations you'll get. Number 4. Edging your Factions Edging your Factions is a great way to get new gear right out the gate. We can see in screenshots taken from Bungie's livestream reveal that while most new Faction, Crucible, and Vanguard gear requires level 40, there are some, if not all, Crucible Quartermaster weapons that are level 30 with an attack value of 280. This probably also applies to the Vanguard Quartermaster as well. To give you some perspective, Year 1 Exotics are shown with the attack value of 160, and Necrochasm is shown as 172. This means that as a veteran player that has hopefully reached at least light level of 30 in Year 1, you can equip some of this new gear as soon as you can get your hands on it. And at worst, if this is placeholder information, and it is really level 40, at least you'll have them ready for when you reach level 40. Now to get this gear, faction packages are going to be the quickest way to get them with the least amount of effort. The best way to prepare yourself is to edge your faction reputations. Edging your reputations means getting as close to ranking up with a handler without hitting the 2500 reputation mark. I will usually turn in bounties to get it close, and then grinding out a couple patrol missions to leave it within 25 to 50 reputation of ranking up. So why do this? As you know, ranking up with a handler gets you a package containing gear and glimmer. If you rank up now, you will get a package containing only Year 1 items. Even if you wait until Year 2 begins to pick up from the Postmaster, this stuff will be Year 1 gear, period. However, if you wait until Year 2 begins, you'll get the snazzy new Year 2 gear instead. Furthermore, Bungie has assured us that the new Year 2 packages will be guaranteed to contain legendary items. This way, you just need to turn in one single completed bounty in order to rank up. Now remember that you can only pledge allegiance to one faction per week, but it doesn't hurt to have your second and third choice factions ready for the following weeks. Furthermore, you now gain faction reputation in addition to Crucible and Vanguard reputation at the same time, meaning that you can set it up to receive two packages every time you rank up, once from Crucible and Vanguard, and once from your faction. This leads right into number 5, Stacking Bounties and Public Event Packages. 
Edging your factions is only one step in getting sweet new gear within minutes of loading into year 2. You want to make sure to have bounties ready to actually rank you up. Also, if you have enough bounties, you can get pretty far into the next rank, making your second package come that much quicker. Also, it's a good idea to stack up your daily public event packages, since they get you some pretty sweet experience when you pick them up from the Postmaster, which will help you not only level up your gear faster, but also get you to level 40 as fast as possible. Also in Destiny 2.0, you'll be able to burn motes of light to gain experience, so make sure to stock those up as well. I hope you find this helpful in preparing for the Taken King. Keep in mind that this video is going off of all the information available as of the date of this video. There is still much that we don't know about the specifics of how the patch 2.0 and the Taken King will roll out. I'll update this video with any adjustments as we learn them over the course of the next few weeks. Until next time, see you Starside Guardians.